now going to look at a very important and useful technique in wastewater reuse, quantitative microbial risk analysis, or QMRA. QMRA enables us to determine the probability or risk of infection occurring in a community or an individual as a result of exposure to a single dose D of a pathogen, and we term this risk PID. We have to use a dose response model, and the model we use for protozoan pathogens, such as Cryptosporidium and Jardia, is the exponential dose response model, which is PID equals 1 minus E to the minus RD, which we'll call equation 1. When RD is very small, the equation becomes PID equals RD. R is a pathogen infectivity constant, and its value for Cryptosporidium is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 3, and for Jardia, 0 0.0199. For a community, PID is the proportion of the community that becomes infected as a result of all members of the community having been exposed to a single dose D of a pathogen. And for an individual, PID is the probability or risk of infection as a result of having been exposed to the single dose D. We can rearrange equation 1 in terms of D, as shown on the slide, and we'll call this equation, equation 2. When PID equals 0 0.5, that is 50% of an exposed community becomes infected, D equals N50, the median infective dose, which from equation 1 is 0.69 divided by R, and this is equation 3. The second dose response model, which we use for bacterial and viral pathogens, is the beta Poisson model, which is given by equation 4 on the slide. N50 and alpha are pathogen constants, and their values for some of the more common excreted pathogens are given in this table. We can rearrange equation 4 in terms of D, as shown on the slide, and this gives equation 5. The equations we've used so far, equations 1 to 5, are all for single exposures to a pathogen dose D. However, in real life we are often subjected to multiple exposures. We drink drinking water every day, and we might eat wastewater irrigated foods several times a week. So we need to be able to determine the annual risk of infection from N exposures per year to a pathogen dose D. And this is given by equation 6 on the slide. This says that the annual risk of infection, PIAD, is given by 1 minus 1 minus PID to the power N. So how does this come about? Well, as we have seen, PID is the risk of becoming infected as a result of a single exposure to the pathogen dose D. Therefore, 1 minus PID is the risk of not becoming infected as a result of a single exposure to the pathogen dose D. So 1 minus PID, all to the power N, is the risk of not becoming infected as a result of N exposures to the pathogen dose D. Thus, 1 minus 1 minus PID to the N is the annual risk of becoming infected as a result of N exposures per year to the pathogen dose D. We can express equation 6 in terms of PID, as shown on the slide, and this is equation 7. In normal casual speech, we often use the terms infection and disease to mean the same thing, but they are different. Not everyone who is infected will become ill, so the disease risk, PDD, is equal to a constant A, times the infection risk, PID, this is equation 8, and A has a value somewhere between 0 and 1. So what's the use of QMRA? Well, we can apply it to drinking water, for example. The World Health Organization uses a tolerable risk of waterborne disease of 10 to the minus 3 per person per year. This means it's OK if one person in a 1,000 becomes ill each year from drinking fully treated drinking water. We can use QMRA to answer questions like what is the maximum permissible number of rotaviruses per litre of treated drinking water? In other words, we can use QMRA to set rational drinking water quality requirements or standards. If we take PIAD as 10 to the minus 3 per person per year, then from equation 7, with N is equal to 365, as we drink drinking water every day, we can calculate PID as 2.7 times 10 to the minus 6 per person per exposure event. So we can now use equation 5, 
with N50 equals 6.17 and alpha equals 0.253 for rotavirus, to calculate the single rotavirus dose D, and this works out as 4.5 times 10 to the minus 6. Suppose that this dose D is in 2 litres of water, therefore assuming that people drink 2 litres of water a day, the maximum permissible concentration of rotaviruses in drinking water is around 2 times 10 to the minus 6 per litre. That's roughly 2 rotaviruses per million litres of treated drinking water. In the next presentation we will discuss how QMRA can be applied to wastewater reuse, including the irrigation of, as shown here, salad crops and vegetables that may be eaten uncooked.